Five intriguing studies conducted in the US and Norway, published in the journal Appetite, found that the meat industry and the way it presents meat has a profound influence over us. In the first study, researchers presented chicken at different processing stages. A whole chicken, drumsticks and chopped chicken fillets. Scientists then measured participants' associations to the animal and how much empathy they felt with the animal. In the second study, participants saw pictures of roasted pork. One beheaded, the other not. The scientists examined their associations to the animal and to which extent they felt empathy and disgust. They also asked participants whether they wanted to eat the meat or would rather choose a vegetarian alternative. One of the researchers commented, Highly processed meat makes it easier to distance oneself from the idea that it comes from an animal. Participants also felt less empathy with the animal. The same mechanism occurred with the beheaded pork roast. People thought less about it being an animal, they felt less empathy and disgust, and they were less willing to consider a vegetarian alternative. In the third study, participants saw two advertisements for lamb chops, one with a picture of a living lamb, another without. The picture of the lamb made people less willing to eat the lamb chops. They also felt more empathy with the animal. Philosophers have claimed that we avoid thinking about the animal we eat and that this reduces the feeling of unease. This mechanism is described by the dissociation hypothesis and these scientists are the first to test this hypothesis empirically. In the first three studies, the researchers examined processing stages and presentation. In the next two studies, they investigated the use of words and phrases. They found that replacing pork and beef in the menu with pig and cow made people less willing to eat meat. The choice of words also affected feelings of empathy and disgust. Finally, researchers investigated the effect of using the word harvest. Usually this word is referred to plants, but in the US it's now increasingly replacing words like slaughtered or killed. The scientists found a clear effect. When the word harvest was used, people felt less empathy with the animal. More than 1,000 people participated in the studies, and most of them were meat eaters. For some of them, eating meat was difficult. For others, less so. Everyone dissociated meat from animals in their daily lives. Researchers commented, we all have a sensitivity in us, but this sensitivity is rarely activated because of the presentation of meat. These scientific results support the fact that the way meat is presented and talked about in our culture makes us consume more of it. With more and more research coming out on the damaging impact meat has on human health, in particular processed and red meat, which have been found to be Category 1 and 2A carcinogens, the findings from the studies I just mentioned might help authorities limit people's meat consumption. However, as one of the researchers said, authorities can influence people's diets by presenting pictures of the animals in meat advertisements or contexts where meat is consumed. However, the will to do this is probably limited, since there are strong financial interests involved. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.